This is Michelle Moreland with Variety Radio Online. We are at Walker Stalker Con 2014 in Atlanta, Georgia. I have with me Z Nation. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so do me a favor. Uh, first of all, how are you enjoying the con here at Walker Stalker? Uh, it's awesome. We're really happy to be here. We've been meeting lots of great fans, signing autographs, and it's been wonderful. Good. The great crowd. Yeah, great crowd. Yeah, the response was kind of amazing for us today. Uh, a lot of people had seen the show and wanted autographs, wanted to know what was going on, so we've had a really positive response from the audience. That is here. great. That yeah, I mean, this is the first time that we've kind of been out as a group and, like, interacting with the fans, promoting the show like this, and it's, yeah, I, I mean, the, the response has just been incredible. To be able to actually see firsthand, like, how people are reacting to the show has been great. Yeah. Okay, our zombies are a little different. So, can you tell our fans out there a little bit about how Z Nation zombies are a little different from our Walking Dead zombies? Just well, they're, <laughs> they're much faster to start with. Uh, and we have all kinds of zombies, and our zombies are evolving. Uh, I think every week you're going to see zombies do something you haven't seen them do before. Um, and they're changing as the virus evolves and the zombies evolve. And we have zombie animals, we have zombie bears and zombie gophers and zombie dogs in the show and zombie babies. So I think we're just going to explore all the different things that could happen with a zombie. Yeah, yeah and I think our zombies also uh, have a life cycle. So when you're first turned, you're fresh and you move fast and you're a fast zombie. But as time goes on, they age and they wear down and then they become the sort of slower, more traditional zombies. So not only do we have different kinds of zombies, but the zombies have a different life cycle that they go through. Anything you add? Yeah, no, that's that's pretty much it. And, and then some of the zombies are, are super strong, too. We sort of have these, like, boss zombies that we have to fight yeah. every now and then. Usually I'm the one who has to fight. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do guys. so well with that one. No, I no, I, I didn't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you were if you were badass in, in your life, then you're probably going to be a badass zombie. And then we also have zombies that come flying in on a tornado and stuff. Right. And we have big hordes of zombies, like a big, you know, like mass herd of zombies so they come in all shapes and sizes really and, and some of our zombies have what seems like a soul and and they they respond in certain ways to our guys as we're moving on so they're not just totally dead beings uh, there's going to be some surprises about what we discover about zombies and his character as he slowly turns into one ah oh, see well, everything's not, not turns calm. into one something's turns coming ish. out ish. Ish. Turns ish. Turns ish. Ish. we're not really sure what's happening <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the, the zombies and, and every kind of zombie, there's a different kind of humor. You, you definitely have brought the humor to the zombie world. Uh, tell me a little bit about kind of why that's happening. I mean, I love it, but talk a little bit about that humor that you're throwing in. Well, in every episode, we try to have humor, heart, and horror, um, those three things. And it's just the way we sort of see the world as we got together as writers and we're breaking the stories. Yeah. That, in the middle of tragedy often are some of the funniest things happen um, and it was also a, 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 an aspect that would define us as different from The Walking Dead it was right. just a humorous world where crazy things happen and um, I think you know humor is a survival skill and anybody that's still alive three years into the zombie apocalypse is probably going to have a sense of humor about their situation. Right. Yeah, no, I, mean, I if would you, agree. If you look at people who are like in terrible situations like at war and you know like you, you like actually look at their daily lives of the people like in World War II they were constantly playing practical jokes on one another and then they'd be in horrific firefights fighting for their lives seeing their you know friends die and then the next day you know they kind of have to cope with that so humor is something that people have even in the worst of situations so you know it's a appropriate to have in the zombie apocalypse and then Carl's humor in particular is when you get Liberty Bells smashing zombies zombie babies you know so. you don't know what he's talking about do you uh, it's just all real to me I don't yeah. know it's just uh, one, one of the things that Carl described to me in the beginning it's, it's almost like this sense of like a like a homicide detectives gallows humor you know what I mean like if you're, you're dealing with such you know traumatic things all day long yeah. I mean, you have to sort of desensitize yourself. It's a survival so, skill. Absolutely. So, you know, you're, you're going to, in our show, find a lot of these sequences where we'll basically be killing zombies as if it's a video game and then, and then talking about, I don't know, getting groceries or, or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just having, like, basic yeah. conversations. Like, well, like, it's just a day at the office, you know? Right, right. You know? Um, and also, any t anything you can tell us about maybe where we're headed? Into the unexpected. <laughs> yeah. In the unknown. In the unknown. Cool. Also, um, I, one last question I think that's very unique is your budget. You're, you're typically a, a smaller budget. 
How are you pulling off some of your, your zombies and your props? Because you are doing a great job. Well, we're just maximizing every penny we can spend. We have a okay. great crew up in Spokane. Um, and our visual effects crew in particular is really small and has a very low budget compared to a, what a normal regular show would have. And they just do a hero's job by just throwing throwing themselves into it um, and working so hard. And everybody on the show, there's just, you know, so our, our budget, we shouldn't be able to pull this show off. It's way better than it should be for no, the money it, it, we have. It looks I would amazing. say, and you know, everyone on our crew in every department, including um, like uh, art direction and makeup, everyone has really stepped up their game as far as like really committing to making this show what it is and you it really pays off when you you're looking at this show it looks like a much bigger budgeted show than what it is yeah. and I think you know that goes mainly to the the quality of, of our crew and our, our team that you know are helping us you know on a very daily basis you know we're in the thick of it all the time and that's great they step it looks it up. good yeah no I, I've, I've worked on zombie stuff before and I really think our makeup people are the, are the real stars of the show I, I mean I, I've, I've never seen zombies that look this good done in less yeah. than like three hours they do it in like 15 20 minutes that's uh, synapse effects they do all our visual our, our practical visual Effects, all the explosions and things like that, but they do all the zombies, they do my makeup, and so they're really doing a, a stellar job at you know creating really amazing makeup in a very short amount of time. Well, thank you for your time. We're excited about it. We'll love to see where it keeps going. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We're excited too. Thanks. I'm getting in there. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah.